Welcome everyone to Vlogmas in July. That's right, a video every day for 31 days, presented by Nomad Internet. As a Christmas fanatic, this is a great way for me to be cheerful and thankful all month long. Opie, you better be a good boy this July. Santa Paws is watching. Tara, no more sneaking into catnip sack. Santa Paws will bring you coal. Thanks for joining me this month, guys, and have a jolly old month of July. Yeah, and good morning once again, everyone. Vlogmas in July continues a video every single day as we move into the second half of July. I'm a little exhausted, guys. It's, it's, it's a lot of work keeping up, uh, you know, especially even with the bad experience in my last video, you know, that whole section of time that I spent there, those three videos, normally I would have taken the best from those and made one video, you know, but right now we're doing a vlog a day. So, so thank you for joining me, guys. We're here at the uh, Wishka River. Do you know what it's famous for? Yep, we're in Aberdeen, Washington, which I have a bunch of ties to. Uh, this is my first house was here in Aberdeen over on the south side by the college. But uh, not only am I from Aberdeen, Washington, but um, a very famous musician <laughs> uh, has roots here, especially on the lonely Wishka River. Kurt Cobain from Nirvana is from here. And as a matter of fact, he has an album titled after this body of water right here. He has an album along, along the muddy banks of the Wishka River. Yeah, that's, that's, that's this river right here under this bridge right here, which I know there's some controversy over his drug use and other things like that, but um, the city still has this park. <laughs> uh, ooh, sunshine, in his remembrance. But then up here at the top of the park, and it's called Kurt Cobain Memorial Park here, uh, they have this little picture of him. Yep, from Aberdeen, Washington. Passed away on April 5th, 1994. Supposedly he OD'd, but a lot of people think he just chose to take his life. It's a tiny, modest little park. Kurt Cobain, KC Park, with little music notes there on the garbage can. And then over here by the river, there's a, a concrete guitar sculpture. Uh, I'm not thrilled about the idea of everyone writing on it, but, you know, maybe maybe Kurt would have liked that. All the people showing support there. The big old concrete guitar. And yeah. Love you, Kurt out here taking tater tot around even though um, it is 74 degrees in Aberdeen, one of the warmest days of the year, and looking ahead at the forecast, oh boy, we're gonna skip 70 degrees and jump right into the mid to upper 80s here. Summer will make an appearance here in just a few days. Let's see if we can find any of uh, Kurt's old places where he lived here. It is reported and documented heavily that Kurt was not a rich man uh, growing up, a young boy, uh, kicked out of his house when he was 17 here in Aberdeen. We're going to go stop by uh, his very first place he lived after uh, being kicked out of his parents' house here in Aberdeen. Yeah, so not in a van down by the river, but uh, this house right here at 609 West 2nd Street, but not inside the house. Back in the day, this house was occupied by Dale Crover, and he let Kurt uh, live in a refrigerator box here in the driveway. Of course, Dale Crover became uh, the drummer for Kurt's band Nirvana. Started right there in the driveway. By the way, this is not me trying to compare myself to Kurt in any way. Him and I uh, did share some similar battles as far as depression and being in a low place. Uh, and kind of just being down and in the dumps here in the city of Aberdeen, um, this street right here is the location of my second house ever. So since we're on this street, we're gonna go down four blocks and you're gonna see my second house. And then we'll go across the bridge to the south side, look at my very first house and see how it's doing. I haven't seen this house for many, many years. Uh, it looks like the driveway might be open. I don't, well, I'm gonna park in front of the house anyway. There it is. Actually, you know what? I can see it's boarded up. 815 West 2nd Street and every window is boarded up there. So it's not being occupied now. In fact, I see a tag on the door. I can't read it from here, but I think 
I think they've deemed this one inhabitable as well. What is it about all the, the actual homes I've lived in have all either been deemed inhabitable or been torn down? <laughs> all right, we're going over the bridge here to the south side. This is a drawbridge, and back in the day, you know, getting across this would really be bad because they will draw it up about 30 minutes before the boat gets there and keep it up 30 minutes after the boat crosses. It would completely shut down the entire city of Aberdeen's north and south sides for about an hour and a half. It was not fun. So you didn't know if you were going to be an hour early for class or work or late. <laughs> it was really weird. We are driving down Marion Street now and this stop sign's new. Uh, people used to just bog through here. The stop sign, it, it, it's you lady. You, you were, okay, there you go. So we're looking for 1017, a little two-story house here. There's a, there's a nice bike. Let's see here, we're getting close. Not this one, 1013, 1017. Wow, they painted it brown. I'm gonna stop here for a minute because there's no one behind me. Little garage underneath there, two story. We had a pool in the back. Really a big house. It was, it's a th three bedroom house when uh, we lived here. And then you may have seen some pictures of me with the dolphin parked right here along the edge. The dolphin was here while I was moving into it. <laughs> the current owners just uh, waved me over there. They're very friendly, very chatty. They just don't want to be on video. Uh, they purchased the house in uh, 2019 and fixed it up. Um, so anyway, nice to see that the house is doing really, really well. Uh, they said they, that they had rented this house up until the time they bought it. And now they own it. So uh, anyway, yeah, 1017 Marion. What I was saying before they came out was that uh, my Class C Toyota Dolphin was uh, parked right here. I have, I'm, I don't know if I have any pictures still. It might be on my hard drive. But anyway, when I decided to go full time for the very first time in an RV, not a van, I'm unloading all my stuff out here. And that's when my girlfriend Jada had kittens and Jax, Jax, the very first kitten, waddled all the way down these steps, came out all the way into the road and we didn't know it, and hopped in the side door of the Class C RV Toyota Dolphin. Like there's a, there's a kitten inside my RV. So I wasn't even a cat guy back then. That was 2010 and uh, Jax and I just started traveling together from that point and that's, that's where it happened, right here in this driveway, right here at this exact address, south side. I'm gonna go look at my uh, college. This isn't gonna be one of those tours like the Evergreen where it's, oh my God, Evergreen State College is just embarrassing. But let's go look at this one because I, I did actually like this college. This is where I got my uh, AA degree in business management. First though, before we go to the college, the Aberdeen Mall uh, did not survive over here on the south side. I know most people usually don't like these old walking through memory lane type things, but for me, it's really weird seeing this mall all closed up. Anyway, I wanted to drive through and see what the mall looks like, but also somebody brought their fifth wheel here to try to boondock, it looks like, and maybe left something on. It burned. Its final resting place is here now. So, <laughs> whoops. All right, and here's the entrance to Grace Harbor College. I'm gonna pull off here because they're closed anyway. Uh, you can at least easily point this out. My two colleges that I went to for my four years had some of the greatest, funniest mascots. Uh, of course, Evergreen, Gooey Ducks. A total joke because the college is so liberal. They, they, they didn't like being forced to have a mascot, so they just picked Gooey Ducks because it's weird. Literally a big shell creature, clam in the water, but... Uh, Grace Harbor College here in Aberdeen has been the topic of a few little debates here and there, but also a few of those top five worst college mascot names, actually. That's because if you're a Grace Harbor College alumni like me, I am a Grace Harbor choker. Choker. <laughs> it's not what you think, though. That is Charlie Choker. See the, the rope? So it's, it's actually an old uh, boating marine term, the uh, chokers, but it's also like choke, like, well, you know, <laughs> I don't know. It's funny, like I said, I got my associate's degree in business management here, then I transferred that over to the Evergreen State College, where I got my media arts bachelor's degree in video production. 
And I think that is enough history of Nomadic Fanatic in Aberdeen, okay? I, I am proud of my roots here in Aberdeen. If I were to, even though I say I'd never live in the Pacific Northwest again, I still think that if the right home popped up that had a garage or at least a shop area or property where I could build an overhang for an RV or something, I would consider coming coming back to Aberdeen because I have lots of uh, personal growth that happened here, ups and downs in my life, and I, I still consider it kind of battles won. Whereas you get to the bigger city, Olympia, where the Evergreen State College is and all the stupid liberal laws that they're passing and anti-RV camping paraphernalia stuff in your vehicle, no, never will, never will I consider anything like that again. Um, I don't even know why I brought that up. I'm not looking at property. I'm not. But ironically, um, I did want to give you guys a little, two little updates. One, Miranda is getting fixed. My class A is getting fixed. Um, I'll give you more details on that in just a moment. But I did get word that we are fixing the front. Not a new cap, but fiberglass and paint match repair is happening on Miranda. Number two, moving forward after here the motorcycle. I got an offer from a friend who has a, a transport company who quoted me and it was almost like a wow. They had an opening from here to get to Illinois and it's like I have to decide in the next couple days if I'm going to take this opening because the price is right guys. I initially got quoted $5,600 in gas alone to get the motorcycle and trailer back to my shop in East Alton. This time significantly uh, less expensive than that. And that's why I'm like, oh, geez. So anyway, let me get back to the kitties. <laughs> At least dad could move some of this junk out of your way because this is your seat, huh? This is, you got eye goobies again. How do you just always constantly get the eye goobers? How you doing, Opie? Staying cool? Yeah, good boy. It's not a toy, it's a camera. Okay. Tara Bobaris? I'm chilling on the dash there, huh? Yeah, we're doing some urban street camping. You know, eh, it works for what it is, right? You're adorable. I got the two biggest, biggest cat hams ever. Yeah. I mean, when I can score a nice 75 degree summer day out here, it's perfect uh, because I'm, I'm getting all the solar I need to power anything, anything I could possibly want. In fact, I woke up today and my batteries were at 72. By noon, I was back up to 100% and I'm running the rooftop fan to circulate some air. I don't need the air conditioner yet. I might need it in a couple days. And uh, gonna be leaving Aberdeen uh, here, even though you know my friends have this house here. It's just, it's a good midpoint and it's cool that I can do some street, street, parking yeah i'm doing some street parking while, while i'm here so that's that's easy there's no room on their property but this is also where black betty's at and i get it gotta get in touch with my transport carrier and uh see if we can schedule that otherwise i mean it see if i if i leave this area then it won't be as easy to pivot and trade the bike for the the car and i'll be honest with you guys as much as i love that bike it's no longer really a tool it's a it's turning into a toy, you know, and it breaks my heart, but it, tater tot is just so convenient for everything in my life. Let's see. You guys be well. I got to take care of a couple things. Opie and Tara and I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one.